Alright, what's up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with another mod showcase for Alpha 16, and this is the Reinforced Structures and Industrial Heating or Cooling mod. I know that's quite a mouthful of a name. It's because in the mod, there seems to be two different parts of it. And yeah, so they've just divided it into two, but I've got both of them shown here. So for the first part of the mod, you have these reinforced walls, which you can actually check in the structure zone over here. Let me put down that fence there. As you can see, I've got normal walls and then I've got slate reinforced wall over here. Which you can compare with if I put three of that down and three of that down, you can straight away see the difference. You can even check the HP and stuff. From what I can tell, all it does is just increase the HP by between two and a half times to three times the amount of, of HP. So if you look over here, I've listed out every single wall with their material. We can start with silver all the way down to marble. And then on the side, I've got Vanicidium. And if you don't know what Vanicidium is, it is something that EPOE adds in. This can work with any of your modded walls too. So you can use alpha, beta, polys, whatever you want. It'll still work, which is really, really cool. So what else it adds in? Are some of these blast doors and what the blast doors do they're pretty much just really really strong doors and as you can see it's got 1875 HP for a uranium blast door but uranium is generally pretty tough if you want to compare the HP between the walls and the normal counterpart you can check in the description I'll put a link to the mod over there and you can go take a look there is a comparison graph right there for you but rule of thumb is that it's about two and a half times as much so if you could, if you take slate at about 450 times that by two and a half, you get around 1,300. I'd say it's actually that's actually closer to three times, but it's between two and three times. What this mod does add in are some new ways to keep rooms hot and cold. As you can see, I've got this industrial cooler over here and an industrial heater over here. They're all, they're both in seven by seven rooms, and inside that room, I have just a just a sun lamp. Anyways. We compare the temperatures between this you can see the industrial cooler can cool something down to negative 24 while a normal cooler can only cool it down to negative one the outside temperature is 33 degrees celsius to give you an exact measurement an industrial cooler is about twice as strong as a normal cooler same thing with industrial heater they put out about the same energy output twice as much as the vanilla counterpart but some of the caveats are that it takes three times the space of a normal cooler but it only takes an extra 50 watts so that's pretty freaking strong actually and then the industrial heater takes 250 watts puts out twice as much heat as a normal heater which is pretty nice oh and it has a bit more hp so how do you make these walls and how do you make the industrial coolers etc you have one of these things called a metal working table it doesn't require any research to build it's in your production tab you can go ahead and just put one down right there and what this allows you to do is make bills well make one bill actually and that's the make steel plate which requires 10 steel and 5 work, so it's pretty it's pretty minimal. And this makes 5 steel plates, so for every 2 steel, you get 1 steel plate. And with that, it allows you to build the reinforced wall. So what the reinforced wall takes is always 10 steel plates and 16 blocks. You can even use this with vanicidium, another 16 vanicidium, 10 steel, steel plate. But obviously if it's gold or anything like that, it takes 20 times, so it's 320 gold, 10 steel plate. And then the steel blast door... Take seven steel plates, three components, 45 steel. If you go 20 times for gold, it's 900. So prepare to pay out your ass for that. For the industrial cooler and the industrial heater, it is 140 steel, three components for the heater, which is not not too much more than the normal heater. And then for the industrial cooler, it's 90 steel, three components, which is actually the same, exact same as the normal cooler. So if you are to use this mod, just be happy getting twice as strong cooler for nothing. I suppose. <laughs> but that is pretty much it for this mod. It's very simple, but it's very nice. I like stuff like this. I also think that it's a great addition to the game. Maybe not the industrial cooler and heater, but just the reinforced walls mod. I like this. I really, really like this idea of, of strengthening up walls. Another thing about the walls is that they, are, they give off beauty. Quite a hectic amount of beauty. So as you can see, it's 120 each for the Vanicidium walls. 180 each for the gold walls. 54 for steel. It goes down to 18 for wooden walls which in my opinion is just insane because that's 18 each for, for wood for some wood and steel but yeah i guess that's how it works like in this area you have 7.9 beauty in this area take it away from something a bit less beautiful over there you have 5.7 that is just that's too that's way too insanely good in my opinion that needs to be nerfed straight away the doors don't give any beauty luckily it's weird to think that walls give beauty for some reason 
But anyways, that's it for this mod. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you very much for watching. I'll check you all later for the next video. See ya. Hey you, thank you very much for making it to the end of my video. You've actually proved yourself to be above the average. Above the average. Because the average watch time of my video is 63%. But that's okay, because 63% is exactly how much you need to get a message across. And funnily enough, you only need to watch about 60% of this message to get what I'm making it for. Anyways, I've decided to open up a Patreon. If you'd like to support me, besides in the amazing ways that all of my awesome subs already usually do, then you can head over to the link in the description to check it out. All your support is appreciated, monetarily or not. If you're a subscriber, then be sure to hit the little bell over here to always be up to date with videos I push out, and head over to the Discord if you ever want to have a deep and meaningful chat with me. And last but not least, I hope you're having an amazing day.